Hello fellow modelers, my mountain road diorama needs some life and this time we are talking about human life, so we are talking figures. Please let me introduce you to Joey, McCree and Petrucci. Today we will be doing a pretty heavy conversion because we need a motorcycle rider and some jeep crew and this bunch of losers put together with Patafix is no match for the job. Joey is the original jeep rider from the box, McCree is also a jeep rider from a mini art kit and Petrucci is a driver from mini art who was hiding in my remaining figure stash. Take a good look at them because they will go through a heavy treatment in order to become figures that know what they are doing and fit the story. Enough talking, let's move. We will start with McCree, because he will be put together pretty much straight from the box. This kit of figures was meant for this jeep, so there will be no problems, or at least I hope. The usual cleaning process with the scalpel was carried out on all the figures, but it will be only shown here. Another thing, I tried out a new filming approach, to give you better footage, let me know what you think in the comments. The kit head is very nice, but there is no neck, so let's make one. I drilled a 0.6mm hole and inserted a piece of brass wire with CA glue. For modeling the neck I used a MIA 2 part epoxy quick type. I chose this because I thought that it would be quick, but it wasn't, so any 2 part epoxy putty will do the job. After mixing I put a piece under the head. I pressed firmly and then I started forming it with my fingers and some silicone brushes. Wet your fingers to avoid sticking and follow the shape of the head. I always make conical necks and you will see why in a moment. Let's make space for our neck in the torso. I start with a 3mm hole. Then I start to shape the hole with a scalpel. Be careful to follow the shape of the jacket or shirt. At the end I make a conical shape of sanding paper and I sand the hole. This way your heads will fit properly and if they don't all you have to do is shorten the neck and sand it conical again. In my opinion Revel Contacta is the best glue for standard figure building. You apply a dot, wait a few seconds and then you put the parts together. It holds immediately or better yet apply it Touch the parts together and put them apart, wait a few seconds. The parts will stay together, but you will have nearly 10 minutes to test fit and adjust the position. Here we must put the gear shifting rod into the hand. Instead of moving the arm, we will move the rod. A slight bend and here we have it. If you like what you see, please subscribe and hit that bell icon, it helps me a lot. There was no way of fitting the figure in with the steering wheel in place, so I cut it out and I will somehow glue it in place at the end. And for the end, let's see the cherry on the cake. I made a stripe with a buckle from some mayonnaise tube, or it was mustard. Anyway, the material here is important. I glued it with some CA. On the other side, I just put a stripe on. The material here is important, because we will put it in position and it must stay there. The helmet was not striped properly, so we will make it look like it's falling away. This will add a touch of movement, so to speak. And here we have our driver done. Not bad, huh? This poor bastard is Petrucci. He will be in the back frightened to death and holding on to everything he can find. First, we have to open his legs. From now on, I will be using epoxy clay for filling. I put a piece of clay in place of patafix. This way, we can adjust the position and then all we have to do is remove the excess. 
Before gluing the torso, I made the head conversion. I used the resin head from my head stash. I love those universal heads without heads and helmets, because you can use them for any type of figures. I reshaped the legs in order to somehow fit the torso. 0.6 mm wire was inserted into the legs and torso, so we will be able to make the pose correctly. Extra thin CA was used for gluing. Let's put them together. What the Remember, the clay isn't like glue. A quick fix with some CA. Luckily, the match is perfect. Now you can pose the torso as you want and it will stay in position. I took some measurements of his right arm. The extended arm should be able to grab the pole. I wanted to make his left arm grab the seat. In order to partially extend the arm, you have to make a cut and bend it. As you see, I also inserted wires into his shoulders. In this case, we are happy with the torso position. Let's block it with some extra thin CA. The same method was used to block the arm. The thin CA will flow into the wire hole because of the capillarity effect. Now that the positions are set, let's secure the bonds by partially filling the gaps with medium CA. A hit of accelerator and we are done. Don't be afraid to cut some parts of the figure that will not be visible at the end if this helps you to put the figure into position better. I needed his right arm fully extended, so wire was added to support the bond. When I mention wire, the process is the same as with the head at the beginning, so 0.6mm hole and 0.6mm brass wire with CA. I tried to somehow fix him in position with Patafix. Here, the wire in the shoulder was useless, so I cut it away. I applied some medium CA and put the arm into position. All the gaps were filled, but I will show you this process with the last figure when my skills were getting better. I will take some time now to mention my beloved Patreons. Alpenhauler, Jack McKee, Matea and Rob. Thank you from the heart. If you want to become part of this amazing Diorama tutorial community, go ahead and check out my Patreon page. You get exclusive daily content, behind the scenes photos, you can send me your work, and you can ask anything in detail. I'm trying to take this as a job, so you will get professional treatment. So here we have Petrucci and McCree, and the Jeep crew is basically done. Joey, you are the chosen one! You will be cut into pieces and rebuilt on the motorcycle. Congratulations! As you can see, I cut his legs through the knees and I inserted the wire. The wire is glued only on the lower part and it's longer than needed because it's easier to cut than to add later. <laughs> So, I put together the legs on the motorcycle. I used Patafix. I was able to put the feet where they should be. It's not looking bad for now. I glued together his ass in a slightly open position. Instead of putty, I used some CA this time. It was time for the sanding tool. I tried to shape the piece in order to fit the bike better. I was checking the progress from time to time. I was happy with his left leg, so I blocked it with some extra thin CA on the bike and reinforced the bond to be sure. Now I want to advise you to check out another creator on YouTube, Bieber Hunter Scale Models. He's an amazing figure painter and diorama builder with a wonderful German accent. Listen to this. And today I want to show you how I painted and finished it. So let's not waste time and get to work. I love it. Pay a visit to his channel. The link will be into the descriptions. Let's move on. I was not able to put his right leg in place without making it longer than it should be. So I opted for this kind of MotoGP move with the leg outside. Fuori il piedino Valentino! 
Anyway, this will do the job. I cut away the molded part of the arm in order to obtain a clean torso. I opened my body pieces stash and took an entire left arm which was proportional to the rest of the pieces. The right arm was cut and opened a little. It was put in place with CA of course. The left arm was cut, opened and bent into position. Putting those pieces in place is a tedious job. But I somehow managed to obtain a pretty good result. Hey, it's the first time that I'm doing that, remember? When all the gaps were ensured with medium CA, I cut away any protruding parts. And here is his resin head. We already know how it's done, right? Time to fill the gaps. Here is my procedure for putty mixing. Two worms are twisted together and then you mix them until you obtain a homogeneous color. You put the putty on a tray. The toothpick is the main tool. You can pick up small amounts if you want. So, take some putty and squeeze it into the gap. Try to put it only in the gaps and leave the rest as clean as possible. When the toothpick is not on screen, it's in my mouth. I should probably not do that, but saliva does miracles because when the tool is wet, the putty does not stick to it. Then you can switch to some silicone sculpting tools. Those are cheap and they are amazing tools, so I totally recommend them. With this last figure, I realized that you don't have to only fill the holes with putty and make them even. You should start to make some folds immediately with the toothpick. And then you can smooth things out with the silicone brushes. The uniform will look much better this way, but as I said before, I'm learning how to do this. So here we have the entire gang. I still have to figure out how to clean and sand my conversions. I hope that I can show you this before painting, which will probably be the theme of the next episode. Or maybe I will paint and weather the jeep first, we will see. For now I must say that I'm happy with the result. And let's say I was able to make one figure in one working day of about 7 hours, not bad. Please let me know in the comments what you think about them. Until the next episode, I will say to you, have a nice time modeling and stay cool. Thanks for watching and bye.